we have just successfully created the basic producer using Node.js and we have produced a single message Hello Kafka JS user to test topic. And this topic was created automatically. Now let's expand this example further and uh, let's uh, create another topic called animals and afterwards we will use uh, package called chance and using this package we will generate random names of animals and produce them in every separate message using our node.js application. That's the plan. Let's start by defining a topic name here, const topic and it will be equal to animals like this. And next uh, let me copy this section where we call producer.send method. Let me actually cut it and uh, here let's use set interval and we will create separate function that will be called let's say every second. Let's use here set interval and here will be function produce message. And uh, let's call this function every 1000 milliseconds like that. And let's define this function here above. It will be a synchronous function const uh, produce uh, message equal sign. I'll use the arrow function expression syntax async without any parameters arrow function. And uh, here inside, I could use a try catch here in order to catch any errors uh, if any. And if I'll type here try, I'm able to select a try catch from drop down. It will auto complete the try catch block. This functionality is available in Visual Studio Code out of the box. And uh, here in a try section, let me call producer.send. And uh, here in case of any error, let's simply lock to the console this error like this. Great. And now let's uh, modify this function call and uh, here will be simply topic. I could remove this part and reuse the topic variable here. It is property shorthand for objects. And uh, next we need to modify message value. And according to our plan, we need to generate random names of animals. So let me remove this string from here. And now let's install additional npm package. And we will use chance package. And we could install it simply like that, npm install chance. Let's go to Visual Studio Code, open up embedded terminal and here in Kafka project use npm install chance. Package was installed and now we are able to use it. Let's go to documentation and let me find out how to use it actually. Let me open up full docs from here. Let's now find out how to use this package in Node.js. Select here in usage section node. And uh, we have already installed the chance like that. And now we need to load chance like this and afterwards initialize chance using new keyword. Great. Let's go to our application and uh, here let's uh, require it. Const chance equal sign require chance. And afterwards let's initialize new instance of chance. Const chance equal sign new chance. And now we are good to go and we should be able to use methods of the chance. Let's use it uh, here on a place of the value and uh, here will be chance dot and uh, now we are able to generate uh, any random values like random address, random age, random avatar and so on. But our goal is to generate the name of animals and uh, here we could use method animal like this and we need to call it like so. And after calling this method, we should have random names of different animals. Actually, let me extract this value here. Let's call it simply value like so. And uh, its value will be a result of call to animal method of the chance object. And here I'll use property shorthand like that. So here let's use it like so. And also let's print to the console here value in order to see meaningful logs here in this producer. And it seems that now we are good to go and uh, this producer should produce uh, messages every one second. Here is this setting with set interval and every message will have value that is equal to random value of any animal. Let's save this code and let's actually create the topic animals. Let's go to our magic file with all commands. Let's find command that will create new topic. And I'll create topic, let's say, with five partitions and replication factor three. And the topic name will be animals. Let's uh, copy this uh, command, uh, go to terminal, 
make sure that uh, you are in Kafka folder. Let me actually open up new terminal window, cd to Kafka, and here execute command that will create new topic. Topic was successfully created. Let's now verify that uh, and let's simply list all topics uh, created in our Kafka cluster. Let's execute this command with list uh, option. And yes, I see animals topic here on the list and we also see test topic that was created automatically in a previous lecture. Wonderful. Now we are able to switch to our producer and produce some messages. But before that, let's start console consumer. It uh, should be running here in this tab, but uh, let's start it with topic animals as argument. Like so, replace test topic with animals and let's start console consumer. Let's now go to our producer and let's start it. Let's open up embedded terminal, control back tick and let's uh, clear it and enter node producer.js. And it works, we see that uh, every second some random animal name is generated and is sent to our Kafka cluster. Let's go to our consumer and verify whether it receives messages and yes, it successfully receives new message every second. Great, that's how we were able to adjust our producer and generate different messages every second. I think that uh, that's all for this producer and uh, now we're able to proceed and create a consumer using Node.js. Let me stop this application, Ctrl-C, and I'll see you in the next lecture. Bye-bye.